I entered our Broy study program in 2009. We trained in Czech camp, in that building behind me, the K2 building. Consider this a one-year military service. Forget about your family or hobbies you may have. Of course, such intensity was exhausting. Plus, we only had one day off, but that's okay, it was worth it. The education you get at universities is more academic, while we studied everything we would need to work for this company. Maybe you've already heard of the Aberoi spirit. You can always count on your graduate fellow. There were no bad people there, only good ones. Aberoi folks, that's what they call themselves and what others call them at the enterprise where they all work now. Karachaganak Petroleum Operating. The company is one of Kazakhstan's leading hydrocarbon producers. Today, Karachaganak brings together large-scale investments, thousands of jobs, directly or indirectly related to the field, highly skilled specialists and production practices at international standards. As one of the most technologically demanding fields in the world, Karachaganak was developed using the most advanced hydrocarbon extraction equipment, which required the professional skills and vast industrial experience of the experts from KPO. The issue of training was resolved in perhaps the most efficient way. The company started to form its own personal pool with local graduates from Kazakh universities. Today the facilities are operating safely and stable and we put a lot of that down to the competence and qualifications of our people, and in particular our young people who have developed through the APITO programs. There was indeed quite a surge in production at KPO, an inflow of young people. Meanwhile, the industry itself was discussing how to standardize the training process and bring it closer to the actual needs of production. That's why the KPO Training and Development Department began implementing the Personnel Training Strategy under the OPITO standard in 2007. The only provider of OPITO Operators and Technicians Apprenticeship programs in the Russian language is the training company, Abiroi. Abiroi, beyond training, we provide a full range of services, from specialized training to professional selection and full program administration. We adapt international practices to the specific needs of our customers. Ten years ago, KPO and Abbey Roy selected the first intake trainees for the Opito training program. We are happy to be a part of the training program and are making a major contribution to the professional development of young KPO employees. The program has trained specialists in several fields, production operators, mechanical technicians, electrical and instrument technicians, engineers, assistant drilling supervisors and technical translators. Most university graduates do not have the hands-on experience that employers are looking for. We give them the knowledge and experience and assist with employment. In its training programs, Abiroy applies a modular approach, a highly efficient combination of theoretical knowledge and hands-on experience with equipment mock-ups and installations. We use the best methods available in the world, international standards and so on. We also use a modular training system that differs radically from the academic approach. Measured amounts of theory, detailed case studies, focus on the result, understanding, application of skills, not just on cramming everything into your head. Many young people want to get into the Opito training program, but the selection process is very tough. First, they must pass tests that identify their ability for intensive training and technical skills, followed by an interview. About 400 to 500 people participate in the first stage. After testing, 50%, 200 to 250 people, get through to the second stage of the selection process. Out of 250 people, we choose about 80 at the interview stage, or the third stage. In the end, we have only the 15 most outstanding young people who want to study and then work for the benefit of KPO. Before the training itself, the students complete a two-day course called Back to Study, Essential Study Skills, developed by Abby Roy. This module introduces them to the methods of accelerated training, perception and memorization, and also reveals their motivation. 
Those lucky enough to get through the difficult selection process did not even realise how intensively they would have to study for several months. The endless training made your head spin. This really brought us all together. There were different disciplines every month and every week we took exams to test us and reinforce our learning. All KPO graduates development programs are based on the pyramid principle and consist of three modular units. The first unit consists of basic subjects, mathematics, analytical methods in engineering, mechanics and electrical engineering fundamentals. The second unit consists of specialized modules that cover the basics of how equipment works and its practical use. This unit allows students to develop a set of competences for solving production problems in the workplace. The third unit, a technological one, consists of 10 professional skill modules in the petroleum processing technology. The Apito program is very well thought out and it doesn't contain anything unnecessary. Just like in the domestic education, you need your graduate to be an engineer, a technician, and not a theoretician. Everything is quite detailed and well explained. It's easy to digest all this knowledge. Despite the heavy workload during training, some students even managed to find a romantic partner. We always brought textbooks to our dates. To spend the time... efficiently. Almaz and Asel Dadinov married after graduation. The training brought these loving hearts together. Family harmony also leads to good results at work. Graduates have an unconventional approach to problem solving and react quickly to changes in the production process. Before they would wait for someone to give them instructions, a solution, and now they themselves know what to do and how to do it quickly. They are not afraid of anything, not afraid of responsibility. They make good decisions and cope well with the situation. I already have them working as shift technicians that service instrumentation and control equipment. This is a very important job since they have to keep the plant working. Graduates themselves attribute this effect to the ability to consolidate the acquired skills in a virtual training system, including technological process simulators and 3D models of apparatus and equipment. All the heat exchangers, everything is very detailed. When we arrive at the plant, we know what we'll be working with. But the size of the machinery parts is, of course, staggering. The program simulated putting the equipment into operation and took into account the flow, pressure and levels. The 2016 program was different because at the request of production managers, there were people who studied two programs at once, those of instrument and electrical technicians. As they will be trained under the relevant programs and have the appropriate certificates, we can transfer those specialists from one production sector to another and have them work where we need them most. Those who successfully complete the training program are guaranteed further employment at KPO. During the last 10 years, we have trained 310 production operators and technicians. Some 43 people have already been promoted. The lack of engineer-level mechanics, electricians, operators and instrument technicians led to the introduction of the Higher International Diploma Training Program in 2010. Students accepted into the program would choose issues relevant for the Karachaganak field for their engineering projects. The work for the diploma differs from the practices of national universities in that the topic should be more focused, specific, unlike the 100-page graduation work customary in Russia, just some 40 pages with specific solutions for specific problems. Students then complete advanced courses related to their specializations. These consist of large modules 500 to 1,000 pages of material each, then follows by so-called on-the-job training. Program graduates would prepare their engineering projects in two languages, Russian and English. They would defend their projects in front of technical experts from Aberoi, representatives of the customer, KPR, and students' mentors, as well as our partners from Teesside University, participating via Skype. The HID programme helped KPO form a pool of future employees with high potential. 
At Aberoi, we have solved a lot of problems and sought solutions for challenging situations. They prepared us for everything. And the way of thinking that they taught us, and which we practiced, helps a lot in day-to-day -day work. 35 highly skilled professionals were trained for the Well Operations Department. Since 2007, KPO has been training drilling supervisors' assistants in cooperation with ENI Corporate University. The main difference from the production operator and technician's training program was that students studied 10 specialised modules in English and classes were taught by teachers from Italy, the United Kingdom, France, Brazil and other countries. Abiroy was entrusted with increasing the level of students' English proficiency. It provided intensive training for students, which also involved the Cambridge First Certificate exam. We had to pass three exams. If we did, we would move on to the next level. And the next level involved specialised training. Students consolidated their knowledge during hands-on training at drilling rigs, located at production sites where they would later work. Each one of these guys really is a jack of all trades, says Massimo Vitti. I want also to have the people interchangeable because if somebody is sick, of course, somebody else needs to, to be able to cover the entire, uh, entire option in order to be able to continue with the operations. As I already said, I've become a senior employee over the past four years. We've already drilled 20 wells. One well was very difficult. This was the first time in the Karachaganak field that we used the closed drilling method based on new technologies. Currently, the third well is being drilled at Karachakanak using this method. Now we are drilling on the rigs with uh, very few expatriate personnel and a lot of our drilling program, supervisors program uh, attendees are now the guys out on the rigs and supervising the drilling operations here at Karachakanak. Foreign specialists play an invaluable role in the development of the field, but it is important that employees understand each other and this has been facilitated by another program. From 2008 to 2014, KPO and Abiroy trained 21 technical translators in the field of oil and gas production. You can't work in a field where you don't know the necessary words and the terms. Abiroy helped us by letting us practice more with native speakers. We used various role-play games and game situations, etc., to lift the language barrier for students who had not previously studied English at a serious level. These methods facilitated the process and led to greater efficiency. And we're talking about a language proficiency level that is close to that of a native speaker. So the requirements were tough enough, because this is a formal international exam. There are certain standards that cannot be avoided, and there is no way to manipulate the results. Marina Shakirova even quit her previous job to immerse herself fully in the learning process. I don't have a degree in translation, so it was important and interesting for me to gain this experience. Now Marina works as an interpreter at KPO and is glad that she got here, because in Aksai she laid the foundations for a happy family life. Many people, like Marina and Alexei, move to Aksai to be closer to work, and there are all the conditions for a comfortable life here. Over the past years, KPO has built a kindergarten and a school, helped repair roads, and is investing in urban infrastructure. It also gives its employees the opportunity to work and make a career. I think that someone could get promoted even in two years, if they really want it. I believe that I achieved a lot for my age, because it was very difficult to get into such a company without experience. This proves that the selection process is right, and the training program is right, and the right people are chosen. It also demonstrates KPO's stability as a company. People want to work here. People want to continue working here. They want to start families here, to build life together with this company. Over the past 10 years, the task set to Abiroy by KPO to find and select a training program has been solved with 100% success. KPO now has a pool of skilled workers, mainly young people from the West Kazakhstan region. The generation that is trained here is a generation that will work here for the benefit of Karachakanak, for the benefit of the West Kazakhstan region. 
Ten years is not a long time, but a lot has been achieved and KPO has no plans to rest on its laurels. It intends to further expand production. It's building the fifth line for KPC, Karachakanak Processing Complex, and is implementing a project at Unit 2. New jobs will be created, and as before, many of them will be occupied by specialists from Kazakhstan, trained under international standards. We expect that to continue, we need that to continue. We also need it to expand with us as we add new equipment to our plant, as we expand KPC. Uh, we have uh, the expectation of uh, a uh, life uh, work experience for these uh, uh, young graduates and uh, we hope that these guys will contribute to the development of our uh, field uh, for uh, the entire productive uh, life of uh, their ex working experience. I think that we can attribute the success of the APITO program at KPO to several factors. The trust of KPO's management, the dedication of students and Abiroy instructors, and the diligent work of Abiroy project team. For many of these people, working at KPO was once a dream, which was eventually transformed into an achievable goal. A desire to come to work every day, realizing that your knowledge and skills are valued and that you are respected means a lot. Abiroy has become a real alma mater for all the graduates working at KPO and fellow Abiroy students have become friends with both to work with and to play football with afterwards. I've been at KPO for five years, but I also play for the Abiroy team. We don't forget our roots. Abiroy is beyond training. It is a professional team of project managers, coordinators, business coaches and technical instructors with knowledge of international standards and methods. Abiroy is the opportunity to be always on top, to constantly develop and learn and win any battles. And if you want to compete with someone, challenge yourself and become better.